our own David Nazar Indeed. knows He's a lot here. about drones. Too. David just talked to a yeah. realtor who yeah. says that these drones shoot much better pictures than with a right. you know handheld uh, video, and it helps them sell homes. You know, and you also talked to a state lawmaker who's hoping drones will bring jobs here to Southern California more and more, and, and will people invest? David, what, what's the word? The word is I want one of those. I know, <laughs> right? Yeah, you and me. The word is that it's kind of like the wild, wild west out there where yeah. drones are concerned. Folks have been flying them anywhere and everywhere. Without much oversight, well, all that could be changing. There's new legislation in the works, namely SB 142. It's introduced by California Democrat State Senator Hannah Beth Jackson from Santa Barbara. It passed in the Assembly in the Senate. Now, Governor Brown has to sign it into law. Basically, Senate Bill 142 would prohibit drones from trespassing on private property without the owner's permission. So the way it works is the bill creates sort of a drone no-fly zone of 350 feet above that person's private property, their home. Well, drone advocate Joe Anello says he's not worried about the new bill because he's one of the good guys. Joe Anello is getting ready for takeoff. He'll be flying his remote-controlled unmanned aerial vehicle for part of the day. Joe owns a real estate company and needs some good aerial shots of homes that he'll eventually use for marketing purposes and on his website. I'm looking at the drone and it is hovering right in front of that person's window. I mean, I'm going to be honest, that's intrusive to me. You know, it, it would be intrusive if I hadn't been contracted to come out and do this. But the owner knows I'm here, so do the occupants of that house. If I just showed up on a street corner and started flying my quadcopter in front of a window, I would say that I was probably doing something I shouldn't be doing. Yet there are many folks who operate drones who are doing things they shouldn't be doing. Do you agree? I don't think many is a fair word. I think there are some that are doing things with these that they probably shouldn't. How do we stop them, though? That's the question. What are some of the bad things they're doing that give you, the good guy, a bad name? I think they're, they're spying on people with them. Uh, I know of one instance where one of my associates contacted me. A drone had been flying over her backyard uh, three nights in a row, down very low with a camera on it, uh, following her around her yard. And they hadn't been asked to do that. That is an invasion of privacy, if you ask me. They're spying on them. Are you concerned that your rights are going to be taken away as a drone user, that some politician may enforce some rule that's going to infringe upon your usage? I not only believe that the politicians and the lawmakers might infringe on how we can use these, my own board of realtors has infringed on my rights to use these, saying that realtors should stop using drones in the usage of marketing their homes which I find absolutely ridiculous. California State Assemblyman David Hadley says he's not looking to infringe upon anyone. Hadley represents the South Bay area of Torrance, Manhattan, Hermosa and Redondo Beach, Palos Verdes and Gardena. Hadley's district has been home to California's aerospace industry. He explains that legislation is being introduced at the state capitol to look at some of the concerns the public has about drones. There are both great benefits to society maybe, but there are also real risks. We have uh, personal rights to privacy and the ability of drones to come onto your territory and surveil you. We have law enforcement use of drones both as, uh, as a tool to reduce crime but also as a potential threat to civil liberties that we need to manage and strike that balance. We have national security issues. Drones can be used in uh, terrorist attacks. Uh, they can be used to monitor and surveil uh, serious targets, whether they're prisons or nuclear power plants or dams or critical pieces of infrastructure. With that said, Hadley acknowledges drone usage could be very beneficial to the future economy of the South Bay. And that's why the assemblyman is trying to figure out what rules and regulations are needed in this relatively new industry. Most of the drone business in the South Bay today is military applications. Leading contractors like Northrop Grumman are working on aerial vehicles, unmanned aerial vehicles, for use for surveillance as well as for military operations. Many of the same technologies that you develop to make these better, faster, lighter, uh, and uh, create commercial applications, those technologies have been developed here too. So I hope that going forward, uh, that technology will uh, play out in a commercial context as well, and that the South Bay will be a big part of that. Now, at the beginning of this story, I mentioned Senate Bill 142 preventing unmanned aircraft from flying over folks' property without their permission. Well, State Senator David Hadley, who you saw in my interview, voted against that bill. Rick and Elizabeth Hadley says, of course, he supports individual property rights. However, Hadley told me, quote, 
What's to stop a drone from spying on someone directly in front of their home or 351 feet in the air? Hadley's point is that changing the property rights to 350 feet above someone's home does not necessarily solve any of the public's concerns about drones. And Hadley also says because drone technology is still in its infancy stage, Rick and Elizabeth, it's really too soon to pass this bill without knowing exactly what impact it'll have on this drone industry. But we still need to like lay down the foundation for something. I mean, I know three years ago, the FAA passed something yeah. for commercial use, but what about the civilian sphere? So there's, again, true, we, there's so much work, but David well, is our excellent. Yeah. Thank you. Thank Good. you for that report.